So you guys want to learn how to get one of these remotes right here, the Wii remote, to work with Dolphin emulator slash PC. And believe it or not, it's very easy to do. And you know what's even more difficult than this? Is getting one of these to emulate correctly. Uh, one time I used to do it this way and I found it a real pain in the ass to go from a controller here back to basically a, uh, a mouse and then go back to go back, go back again. It was painful. So I started looking in how to do this and believe it or not, it's really easy to do. You're just going to have to get a few things to pull this off correctly. Uh, one of those things happens to be a Bluetooth receiver and really you can use any one that comes out today. I think the Bluetooth receiver inside the Wii Remote was like the first generation or second generation. So you shouldn't have a problem with any modern USB slash Bluetooth receiver. As long as it's close enough to this, you should be okay. The other thing that you're going to need, and this is optional, again, all the links are down in the description box below, but the one thing I would recommend is to get a sensor bar like this. Uh, this thing basically gave out two little light singles that your Wii Remote would pick up, then send that basically through Bluetooth back to the Wii, and that's how this system worked. For the purposes of my video, I'm actually using the original one that came with the Wii, and the reason I can pull this off is because my Wii is right behind my TV screen, so I can power this thing off that, no problems. You can do it this way as well, but I've left you guys a link down in the description box below to a USB version so it can power that. And if you get these two combo kits, uh, you should be okay from this point. You should be able to play all the, um, all the Wii games as long as your computer is powerful enough to do so. So with that said, let's get into setting this up correctly. So what you guys are going to have to do is take this USB uh, Bluetooth receiver, plug it into your computer. You'll hear it recognize right away, but don't head into the Bluetooth receiving settings on Windows. Head into them on Dolphin. I'll show you how to do that in a few seconds. So anyway, I've opened up the Dolphin emulator software, and to be able to get to the controller settings, what you're going to do is head into controllers. And these are basically the configurations set up GameCube and Wii and all that stuff. Now, I'm going to note this before I continue in this section. If you can get passed through a Bluetooth adapter to work, I recommend it over this because this is going to be a more sturdier connection to your Bluetooth device. And the reason behind that is that when you pair this through this section, basically you have your Wii Remote that has to communicate to Windows, which has to communicate to Dolphin Emulator. And what this section does is take that PC out of consideration. This is a direct connection to the Bluetooth receiver. Where this one has to basically go through Windows and there could be a slowdown and a little bit of loss of features. Now I've never noticed it, but I am going to note that uh, in that section up here. I'll leave you guys a video if I ever do figure out how to do this, but so far at this time I haven't figured out to do it. And according to Dolphin Emulator's uh, way of doing it, it's a pretty tedious task apparently to get that to work and you have to make sure your adapter basically will work yeah just the list goes on but um back on topic to be able to pull this off correctly you're gonna hit real remote and you don't have to configure it because it already knows your settings and stuff you're gonna hit continue scan and enable speaker data this is going to enable your speakers to work on uh, your um, on your Wii Remote and that's all you're gonna have to do for that part at least. So now we gotta program this controller to Dolphin. Now most of you guys know how to do this just hit the zinc button in the back let it start to search and it should find basically Dolphin. Now if it doesn't basically what you're gonna have to do from this point go into refresh and it should finally zinc with enough clicks of this and enough clicks of that refresh, both should talk to each other to the point that you can play now. I've had a little bit of a problem with trying to get this to work, but enough tries will eventually tell Windows to zinc this up to Dolphin. And there we go. You can finally use this controller with Dolphin Emulator. Now for the final step, what we have to do is plug this into a power source and we're good to go. And just like that, that's how you get one of these Wii remotes to program to Dolphin Emulator. Now I've had a little bit of a problem with getting this to always sync to Dolphin. And I've noticed that recently 
that when P my PC turns off and turns back on, I have to go through the same process of trying to get it to zinc. Um, I think this could be fixed through the uh, pass-through method, which again, I'll look into in the near future. Click up here if you guys want to check out that video once that video becomes available. But at this current moment, this is the way that I'm doing it, and I hope you guys uh, quite enjoyed the video for today. Let me know if this worked for you, if it didn't, and let me know if you had any problems like I've noticed with the whole pairing issue. Um, yeah, so that brings us to the end of the video. You know actually how I'm going to end this? I'm actually going to play some games on camera and show you that it actually works. Oh, come on. I've never defeated this whole entire game, but these, uh, it's not what I wanted to do, but, uh, those little fruit things on the ground look like Yoshi's available to be in that level, but I know that you can't use him right now, so I guess we come back later. I hope this video helped you out today. If you guys want to show me some love, hit the like, subscribe, and hey, maybe check out another video on your guys' screen from Help Tech.